Good afternoon, everybody. I have some updates here on the S&P 500 uh, that got shot down uh, big time today. 2632.9 was a close. I have a daily chart right here and whatnot. And basically, we ran up for four weeks, which is about a 13.8% move higher. So we had a gap down. The technical indicators going into today were absolutely great. So people need to know um, what happened today. Some of those headlines included a slowing China, Chinese economy, evidenced by the, uh, China's 2018 6.6 .6 GDP growth being at slowest pace since 1990. Then the IMF cutting 2019 and 2020 global growth forecast by 0 0.1, each to 3.5% and 3.6% respectively. Three, slowing U.S. housing market, evidenced by existing home sales sinking 6.4% in December to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 4.99 million. The stock market seeming vol volatility in these headlines, you have the Chinese come out and drop their forecast that they're going to grow slower. The IMF came out and cut worldwide growth today. These are the headlines that caused the selling. Now, we ran up and everything on the chart pattern is bullish on this daily chart you can clearly see from the December 24th lows we've been ripping so the month of January 2019 has started it off with the bull trend and the bull was back the thing about it is 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 that when we take a look at how the pullback today was is we gave back the Friday gains and some more and you can see the lows here for the um, uh, January uh, period and whatnot. So basically, we have a 50-day simple moving average uh, right around 2,600. Now, if we continue to sell down and we start breaking the major trend lines, then this market will go lower. We have an earnings season that is in full bloom. And that's going to be challenging for a lot of people. Yes, there is a bull line and that we gotten above the 50-day moving average, which was at uh, 2359. We got above the 20-day. We had gotten above the 100-day um, simple moving average. Uh, we had a daily buy signal. All of these things were great for the chart parameter and the trade setup. What you got to know is that the headlines dominated. Now, we will have support levels. If we do break below 2,600, the 50-day moving average, we are going to come back down lower and test other moving averages. Is it possible that during the earnings season, which we don't think is going to be that great, and everybody is forecasting that slower growth, but we're going to show the weekly chart. And I'm going to blow this weekly chart up because you got to understand this part of it. Now, here we are. We had four weeks up. Everything is bullish. Got above the 10-week moving average. Got above the 100-week moving average which was at 26.21, and I can go ahead and bring that up even better. We tested it today. If we close below 26.21, we have a declining 10-week moving average right there, and that price is at 25.95. And so these areas dominated by headlines. Everything was dominated by the headlines, that came out so now we're pulling back and we're going to see how the support levels work we're going to see how the earnings season is going to make a big play 
meaning that when you run up for four weeks and we're going into a, a major earnings season, that was a great rally off of December 24th lows. Yes, buy signal all the way. Yes, we were in sell signals here, but not today. And so the headline events, you got to put everything into perspective. Um, S&P 500 is below the 50-day moving average. And it went there. However, the benchmark index will close uh, above important technical levels. And we know that. So we know the headline events. Uh, China and then calling off the meetings and all of these headlines. People started selling and getting out. And people that did have a gain in October or uh, September mode from last year before going into October. Well, those people got smart and says, oh, no, it's time to sell. So that's what went on. 